One of the questions that came into my comments in, on one of my other videos was a subscriber asking the question, how do I make it so that my video will keep playing? Like how can I make a list? And obviously that is called a playlist. And I'm gonna show you an example of what that looks like from the person watching your video and what they see and how they can see the, the other videos that you have stacked up for them to watch. And then I'm gonna show you how to create that with your own video. You can have more than one playlist. And again, I'll show you how. Here's one of my playlists. I'm doing a playlist about a grain bin house that we're building. And this is episode 18. I like to label my, if it's sequential, I like to put that on there just so people know, oh, this is the 18th one. I wanna go back to the beginning. What is gonna happen when this plays out? I'm gonna go ahead and play it as I'm talking. There is no sound, but I'm at the end of the video talking and you can see um, at the very end, what's going to happen? Um, one, I put a end card up so that they can click and go directly to the playlist, which would take them right to the beginning. Or two, they'll play it out to the end, and then that next video will just automatically play when it stops. I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can have, but I've had as many as 30 in a playlist. So that, if you have that question, I'm not sure. I've never ran into it where it would stop. So there you see the playlist. That's the first video of the playlist out of 20 videos that I have in there. And you can see there it says 20, so it'll tell you. And when I add another one, that number will change to 21. And here we go, we're gonna go at the end of the video, then it's gonna go straight to the next video automatically. Now, I do wanna emphasize that if you bring it to the next video, but it did, that's the very next video. This is episode 19. Now, if this had been episode 20 that I was playing, the last video in the playlist, then it would stop there. And then you could see over to the right, you know, other videos are going to pop up. So just know if it's your last video, it's not going to go back into the playlist. All right, let's go find out how to do this. Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make a playlist. You can do everything I'm gonna show you as you're uploading your video, but for the sake of me not having one to upload, we're just gonna go into our content section and I'm gonna choose a video. For instance, right here, every once in a while, I look for something and I can't find a video about it and I end up making a video to show other people and Canva, even though I'm not really a Canva YouTube channel, I will put tips on there about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one, go under edit, and then I want you just to scroll down. And maybe you missed this before, but it's all the way down here at the bottom. And it asks you, do you wanna put it on a playlist? It's right here under your thumbnail builder area. And I have it under Canva quick tips. I tend to put everything under there. What if I wanted to put it someplace else or maybe I don't even have a playlist? Right here it says create a new playlist and you can just hit that. You can hit new playlist. It also has the option of a new podcast, but hit select new playlist, give it a description, a title, and then you just hit create. So I'm going to put here um, temporary, just so I remember to delete it. Okay. Well, and then it's gonna be public. And I can default to, do I want the newest video to be at the top or do I want the oldest video to be at the top? Now this one's gonna to default to newest because it might be the first one, but you need to decide. Later you can go back and change it. You can say, I want it to default to the date added, the newest one or the oldest, because if you go in and maybe create 10 videos on one topic and you don't publish them all, and maybe you want to make sure they're all created before you publish the whole playlist, that would change things up. So you have to pay attention to what you're doing, um, or you can manually sort them yourself. It's up to you. I like to put the newest one at the top so that when they come in, then um, the oldest one's at the bottom, and then they can, it, usually it'll, top, it'll jump right back to the top, and then they come in order. That's just the way I do it, but you have that choice. So you're going to create it. Now this video, I'm going to take the temporary, well, let's keep going. Let's go ahead and hit done. Now to see what's in my playlist, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay. I've put that in there. I'm going to go back out to the channel or to the dashboard. I'm going to save that. I didn't save it. There is a save button top right hand corner and then go over to your, go back to your dashboard or content here. And up here at the top, you have a choice. Go into playlists. 
and we'll go under that temporary. See, this is the one we just created. So we're going to go in and edit. Now there's only one in there. So obviously there's not a lot to see, but here it is. It's the, it's videos, um, that are all lined up in here. There it is. Right. And I can, again, I can change the order. Um, I can do whatever I want as far as that goes from where I showed you. Now, let me go ahead and pull up the other Canva one so you can see. And the easiest way to do that is just go ahead and type in, I'm going to type in Canva Tips because that was the name of it. Now, you saw that I already had that video in Canva Tips, and then I put it under um, Temporary. You can put your videos in as many different playlists as you want. That's up to you. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go into Canva Quick Tips just so you can see what it looks like once you have a few things in there. And I'm going to hit the video button on the side. And then you're going to see my whole list. And in here, these are a bunch of different videos. Shorts are in there as well that I have about Canva. Again, that's not my channel, but I do get views and people are looking for things that are hard to find. And that's why I put them there. Now, what if I want to add that playlist at the end of the video? So let's go back into that Canva video and I am going to edit the video. So I'm going to pull the video up and then I'm going to go over here to the right. This is where some editing features are. And if you can kind of watch here on the right, I'm going to scroll up and you can see here where it says subtitles, end screen and cards. I like to put my playlist as an end screen. So you edit it. And typically, if you are putting it as an end screen, this is the end of your screen, obviously. And then you can go up to 15 seconds. If you want to add your playlist and only have it for a few seconds, you can move it like this. You can just shorten the time and you can put a video there. You can put a playlist there. Look up here at element and you can put a playlist. You can put your subscribe button. You can put information about your channel or another link. I just put playlist. I select that and then it pops up and then I have the ability to move it any place I want on that video, okay? And a lot of times some people will make a specific slide at the very end where it will have their subscribe button on there, their playlist and their video. You can do what you want. That's a whole nother video <laughs> describing that, but I just wanna show you that you can put this here on the end. And now we're gonna, um, we're just gonna say discard changes, leave it the way it was. I'm gonna show you a card um, a card is just something that you add uh, those same features, but you can put them anywhere you want in your video. So let's say I want to talk about the playlist halfway through. Let's take this little line down here and let's move it. And again, I'm not being exact. I'm just showing you. But let's say right here you started talking about your playlist and you want them to see that they can go up and hit the button. So you can just say, I want to add a playlist right there. And then it's going to say which one, where we're going to do the canvas one. So what will happen is, see up here, it pops up as a link or just a name up there at the top. It says Canva Quick Links. So you would be talking and you'll say, hey, hit that link above and you can see my full playlist of all of my tips. Yes, you can also end, uh, put it at the end. It's up to you. You can put videos there. Same thing as before. You can put whatever you want on that card and you can put as many cards throughout your video as you want. Now, I've had people tell me I don't like to do cards because that will take them away. Actually, it doesn't. You can. They can actually open up that video on the card, and the other, they're, the one they're watching right now will continue to play. I kind of like that because it's like, yeah, I want to watch that. I'll hit it. It'll open up an, another um, screen, and then I can continue watching the video I'm in. So I, I like it. I like using it. Just be careful that you don't overuse it. Again, that playlist, like I showed you in the beginning, the viewer will see. Go to the end of your video. And then they'll see the playlist or the, the, the playlist may pop up, but then the next video is going to come. So that was the answer to the question. What do I need to do to make sure my video plays after my own video? And I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, please ask if I wasn't clear. I'm happy to make a video to answer your questions. You have a blessed day.